Oh yeah, we in good snake country here. Right through there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to find one. It's always nice. Got a unique flower growing right there. Oh, well, let's go check it out. And ladies and gentlemen, we got to take a break because the Australian accent's about to come out. Good day, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Wilderness with Rattlesnake Jay. What have you got for him today, Jay? I was strolling down the creek and saw this little oddity. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'd like to see one in bloom that's not wilted out. A lot of these are shriveled up. I mean, you got some that hadn't opened yet same time. It looks like that wasp is enjoying some. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's pretty cool, Jay. I wish we knew what these were, but... Yeah, I don't anyway. know what you call it. We'll catch you next time, all right? All right. It's making seed. That's a good thing. It means it's going to spread. An interesting little rock bed here. If you see one, it looks like it needs breaking. You gotta break them all. It looks worth it anyway. That, that one's kind of weird. It's porous on some of the surface, but it's got that agate like stuff too. Might find some marine fossils in some of the stuff. There's a crack going down it already. That surface, the way it looks. Let's crack her open and see what she looks like. Man. It's got a little hematite looking stuff right there. It's pretty cool. Wow, look at the inside of that. Yeah. It's that agate looking stuff. That's pretty neat. Cool. It's also known as flint, flint rock. Because when you strike it with metal, it sparks. Now oh, look at the concretion here. <laughs> That's literally concretion. <laughs> this one's kind of funky. Wow, well, that is kind of funky. Little bugs in it. I was seeing this one in here, and my thing just went ape shit. There we go. Uh, I was trying to say, I was just looking down here. They saw this, which isn't much, it's just more of that layered stuff. But then I look right over, and this isn't anything except for just. Uh, what is that? Hematite? The red agate? Uh, now that could be something. Yeah, See the inside? It's got a little bug. Yeah. It's got some nice red banding in it, though, for sure. And look right here. It looks like a piece out of a fish tank. Yeah. It does look like a aquarium, good aquarium, right? think that's much of anything but yeah, it's more striking for the red coloration in the bandit yeah the backside just looks like a rock yeah it's been tumbled a lot that broke recently this one made that more exposed and why the colors are so vibrant pretty cool mm -hmm. all right let's see if we can find some more stuff you can take a piece like that, throw it in a rock tumbler, and I believe the more polished it got, the more translucent it would be as well. And it would definitely show the colors more. I 
I found a little creek rock back when I was a kid. My granddad bought me a tumbler. And I don't know, it was fair size, but I put it in a polisher, we ran it through all the cycles. And when it came out, it was about, it was about a little thinner than that, about that thick. And translucent with orange bands through it. It was pretty cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Wish you still had it. That's that's pretty neat. Yeah. I think somebody actually swiped that one out of my old school rock collection. Yeah. We're going to have to give y'all a tour of his rock collection one day. Mm -hmm. It's pretty impressive. He, he shows a lot of it on his channel. What you need to check it out is the Rattlesnake J channel. And he's got uh, a lot of his ball pythons in there. He's got a crap load of his rocks on there. I love the ones where you have like the mosquitoes and the ants inside of amber oh, yeah. things. Those are cool. Those are fun to do, just to see them. The fossilization and the preservation of them is just impeccable in some of them. Well, I see a nice big rock bed right over there on the other side. I think yeah. I'm gonna walk over there. Let's head that way. I yeah. heard some rustling back behind us there. Yeah, it makes me wonder if those people are Dude, check this out. They might be down at the fish the swimming hole. Look at that. Yeah. That is cool. There's some neat banding and stuff going on with some of these. Wow. That is just cool. This is real predominant. Look at the crazy pattern on this one. And that's dry. Oh wow! I can only imagine it looks like wet. That is nuts. It's like a cave painting on a rock. <laughs> yeah. That is nuts. Got a little red in there. Yeah. That's. Ooh, that sun just got really bright. Yeah. It wow. It's making it pop now. Mm -hmm. huh? God, look at that. That is nuts. It is a pretty one. We're going to put that one in the pocket, Oh, too. God, yeah. Right in <laughs> Yeah, that's going in the Rattlesnake J pocket. <laughs> that's pretty. Welcome back everyone. I just wanted to show you today a rattlesnake in his natural habitat. Look at that as he majestically looks through the rocks trying to find one. something that tickles his fancy. What did you find today, Jay? Just looking at the pattern of that one. Oh wow. It's got a little sparkle in those two little white little eyebrow looking things. Well, I guess his eyebrow is turn them that way. <laughs> right. So a little quartz in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think I'd look pretty badass polished out. Especially that. Oh, that yeah. Pattern. Just a PSA, everyone. If you ever come across a rattlesnake like this in his natural habitat, do yeah. not ever approach them. Let them come to you just like he did here. Imagine if you polish that like a free form. They call it free form. I think it looked good. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. All right. We'll see you next time, Jay. All right. Give me those little big baby ones. Mm -hmm. What do you call a baby minnow? A baby? Fry. A fry? Yeah, they call little baby minnows fry. Well, today on Rattlesnake Jay, we have a learning moment. <laughs> <laughs> Today's letter is F for fry. Yep. What they call baby minnows. Now back to you in the PBS station. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to say and that just kind of came out. See, last time that happened, it was the bad Australian raspy voice for Wilderness of Rattlesnake Jay and 
personally i think that's a hit but yeah. I, that, that last one sounded more like i needed to be in the catholic church <laughs> Dude, you done been a while. <laughs>